Okay, I just got FSD 14 and I want to make sure it can see. It's pretty important for the full self-driving cameras to be able to see when you have a self-driving car. And this film here that you can see on the inside of the glass is built up over about a year. Uh, I cleaned it once when the car was about six months old because of all the outgassings from the plastic and everything. There was a film then, but it's been about a year. And just to show you, it looks clean here if I shine a flashlight in the garage into the camera housing. But in order to see if you have a film or not, move a flashlight away from you and shine it back toward you on the glass. And that's when you can really see that there is a film there. And that film will cause sunlight to diffract and you'll have a big bright blob in your cameras. So let's take this piece off here. First, we'll take off this triangular piece underneath the mirror. And after that, we're going to twist the mirror about 30 degrees to the left and it'll just drop down. And that plastic piece that I'm removing here doesn't normally just drop off. You can put your fingers in the hole where the mirror was and pull down on that. Just don't pry on the glass because you could crack your glass. Be careful with that. And here I'm showing this is a 2024 Model 3 Highland and it happens to have four screws in here. And I've heard like Chris from Dirty Tesla, I think he said that his Model Y doesn't have any screws and it's all clips. And I believe my 2021 that I had before this, 2021 Model 3, only had two screws. So just look and see how many screws that you have in here. Uh, it could be two, four, or none. It could be just clips. So you'll have to just examine it. Uh, I'm removing the two screws on this side. There's two identical ones on the other side, so no real reason to show the other side of this. Uh, but anyway, once you get the screws out, this camera housing here just pulls down. You can pull it down from the front as I'm doing here, and just the back comes out afterward like this. It'll come straight down. And then all this stuff can hang there pretty safely. Just don't pull on the wires. I'm showing the felt here. I'm saying don't get any lint or anything on here because then lint might show in the cameras. So make sure that's nice and clean before you put it back together. Here again, I'm showing, I'm shining the camera, I mean the flashlight at an angle, showing how there's a haze in there. And we're just going to clean that off. You can use whatever method you want. You can use uh, glass cleaner like I'm doing. I put glass cleaner on half of a paper towel. I didn't spray it directly on the glass. Um, so I wiped here and I also wiped the lenses on the two active cameras with a lens wipe uh, just to make sure everything is clean because there could be a film on that too. And then here I'm showing how I just, you put the back in first and kind of push back at the same time and it kind of clicks into place to put this housing back on and then just put the four screws back in there. And before you snug everything up, I would go on the outside of the car and check with a flashlight like you saw in the beginning of the video. Make sure you don't have any residual streaks or anything left because once you get this thing back together, you don't want to do it again for another year if you can help it. Um, so just check from every angle. Check on the outside of the car. Make sure you don't have any streaks because you don't want to get this all back together and then find streaks. So this big piece of plastic here, it'll just go under the headliner first. And then once you put it under the headliner, just try to align the clips after, you know, you've gotten those four screws back in already. Just snug them up. Don't tighten them too tight. You don't want to strip them. And this piece will just click into place like you see here. And after that clicks into place, just check everything. Uh, go over all the points, make sure everything's clipped back in place. And then you can take the mirror and put the mirror back in. Remember, we turned it like 30 degrees counterclockwise. So that's how we're going to start here. And then we're going to turn it back to tighten it. You're going to hold the post and the mirror and twist both at the same time to click it into place. And then finally, this triangular piece here will click into place. I found it easier to put the point in toward the mirror first and then pop the other side in away from the mirror. And now I'm just going to show you here that it's, it's now clean. And it, it may not be able to you may not be able to get this perfect, but you can get it to where there's not a film over it and the cameras are, are going to have a nice clear view through here. So thanks for watching.